Parvo 2022 was an excellent experience as a rising clinical researcher for engaging in interprofessional dialogues regarding new innovations in visual clinical care and research. Throughout my time at the conference, I was energized by the passion of the professionals around me. Hearing from other presenters and experts in the field about their work enriched my understanding of the current clinical and informational obstacles that the ophthalmologic community faces in reducing visual morbidity. One specific presentation I saw regarding pediatric retinal diseases described the importance of standardized visual and optical screening for children. His talk discussed the national differences in patient age, screening provider, and assessment method throughout the European continent, and really the only trend was a lack of uniformity. In our broader discussion after the presentation, different audience members applied this finding to clinical discussions regarding diseases like Coates disease, where early diagnosis and intervention is critical to reducing ocular morbidity. Without uniform guidelines and protocols, many children suffering from Coates disease might not have changes in visual acuity recognized until an extensive degree of damage has occurred. Solutions to this problem, including standardized policy, educational programming, and IT innovation like ocular screening software and devices for primary care offices, were all discussed as potential angles for addressing this issue. Walking away from this talk, I had a new understanding of what kinds of logistical problems ophthalmologists face when diagnosing and treating idiopathic progressive conditions like Coates disease and will incorporate these insights into my own future research and clinical practice. In addition to learning from the academic community around me, I was given the opportunity to present my own research for the first time at a conference. By engaging in this process, I developed and practiced critical skills in organizing and communicating information to a novel audience. I cherished this introduction into the academic medicine field and left Denver eager for more chances to engage with the community around me and attend similar meetings in the future. Without funding from institutions like the Jack McGovern's Coates Disease Foundation, the opportunity for attendees to travel and be at conferences like ARVO would be financially inaccessible to many trainees in the field. I'm incredibly grateful to the donors and members of the Jack McGovern's Coates Disease Foundation for making ARVO 2022 a reality for me. My professional and personal growth as a result of this conference is something that I'll carry with me that will make me a more powerful and successful researcher and clinician in the present and future.